Hey YouTube, it's Casey here with Casey's Choice um, with a video. So, um, the other day I was um, watching on YouTube, You Love Megs. That's You Love Megs. I'll put her name below. She did a video on affordable candy yum yum. So, if you know MAC Lipstick and you know candy yum yum, you know that it was out, I believe it was last year, not 2000, 2011... Summertime, no, I think it was 2010 I, is what I believe. I, you know, yeah, I think that's what it was or it was 2000, 2010 Christmas time or something. So um, the reason I remember is because I went to the store looking for it. They were sold out. And in, here in Canada, they have Mac in the Mac store, plus they have it in a department store. And the department store they have it in here is the Bay. Um, the Bay actually just got bought out by Lord and Taylor, so they're going to be carrying more stuff. But anyways, back on track. So, um, when you go to the Mac store, for some reason it gets sold out quick, but when you go to the Bay, they always seem to have what you're looking for in there. So, went to the Bay in one mall. Could, they didn't have it. They were sold out. They're like, you're never going to find that. You're never going to get it. Went to the Bay in another mall, found it, told my sister, told my friend. Actually bought three of them. I should have kept all three for myself, but... I was being nice and gave gave them both. So anyways, I saw that they sent out an email saying, what lipsticks do you guys want to come back? There was a choice between a couple of them. And um, Candy Yum Yum was there. So went on to buy. And by the time I got on, I got the email in the morning, fully woke up, went to go and buy. Candy Yum Yum was sold out already. Sold out, sold out. I still have my Candy Yum Yum. Yes, I do. But I wanted another one to add to my collect to like just to have like I know lipstick goes bad But I, I, I think that I think I would have used it up in the time before it went bad But um, yeah, so I do have my candy yum yum and here it is right here So anyways saw the video from you love Megs and she found a candy yum yum not from Mac from Milani so she she was actually saying that she went to go buy and by the time she went to go get it, it was gone and she was upset and she's like, what the hell? Then she said, what the hell? I already have this color in from somewhere else. So she went, she started digging through her makeup and she found her Milani that is very similar to Candy Yum Yum. So I was like, hey, let me go look for this Milani. So I went, so this is my Milani. Here's my Candy Yum Yum. So let's see here now. Milani here. Candy yum yum here. See these ladies? Almost the same. So this one is just a little bit more pinky, I find. And this one is this. So what do we think? Let's do some swatches. Candy yum yum. Swatch that there. So see it there? And here's the Milani one now. So let's swatch that there. So yeah. See it there? So the Milani is just a little bit, um, a little bit more richer, but I think maybe it's only because I haven't used it as yet. So what are you, what are your thoughts? A little bit more rich. And you know what? I don't really mind because to me they're still cute. But on my mission of looking this up, because I was looking for Milani and Milani lipsticks are not sold everywhere here. So I had to go to Walmart to find it. So when I was at Pharma Plus, though, by my work, I went in there and I was just looking at lipsticks because I had a viewer that told me to try um, Revlon Color Butter Butter Lipstick. And I didn't really like the, the, the texture of it. It was too greasy. So I ended up stumbling on some other colors. So here they are here. So this is actually CoverGirl. So this is CoverGirl here. Two of them I got because I really wanted to show you this. So if you've seen my other videos, you'll see my lipstick collection and it's grown a lot since because those are limited edition ones that got came back out. I ended up buying the other two to it. The Moxie, love it, love, love that Moxie, love, love, love. Girl About Town, I love it. That was not one of the limited editions, still in stores now, I believe, but that Moxie, beautiful. But I haven't tried that other one yet. So anyways, came on these Cover Girls one. Let me show you something. This Cover Girl, 330 Divine. That's what it is. See it there? Now, Divine is this purpley color. Let's look at that there. Now, what purpley color do you think I think that is? Let me show you. Up the amp. 
by MAC. So this is my Up The Amp that I really love. This one is one of my favorite lipsticks by MAC, Up The Amp. So let's take a little test here. So that's my Up The Amp there. Now, I haven't, I haven't done this one. I, I used it when I was in the store. So here's a new one now. And look at that. Hello, that is the same color, just actually a little bit more richer. See? So that's my Up the Amp and my Divine by CoverGirl. Hmm. Hello, same color lipstick. So I found Up the Amp. Now, another one I found now is this red one that is called Hot Passion by CoverGirl. Hmm. What do I think Hot Passion is? I either think it's a, nope, it's not. Well, this is my Ruby, Ruby Woo. And I also have um, Russian Red by MAC. So it's either or, and I'm not going to lie. Russian Red is actually in my um, makeup bag right now, my gym bag. But let's, let's, let's compare these two. So here is Ruby Woo. Where am I going to put this? Let's put that there. That's Ruby Woo right there. And now look at our hot passion here. What do you think, people? See? I think they're pretty identical if you ask me. So there's the three lipsticks that, um, that I think are very identical to our MAC ones that I have. Sometimes I go in because I just thought, you know what? Um... I didn't want to, I like buying MAC lipsticks because then when I buy them, I know I have them and I know I have that color. But when I saw you, um, you love Megs and her video on the um, candy yum yum and missing out. And you always feel like when you don't get something, you miss out. So you're going crazy saying what the hell. But then there's always an alternative too, right? So I found actually some alternatives to um, Up The Amp and Ruby Woo. So again, they're from CoverGirl. Um, the red one is... Hot Passion number 305. And the next one is Divine number 330. See, ladies? So if you weren't able to get up the amp and you weren't able to get Ruby Woo or um Ruby Woo or why can't I think of the other red? Russian red. Then now you have some alternates. And also, another thing is these were $7. These were 20. 7, 20. 7, 20. Don't get me wrong. I still love my Mac. I will still buy my Mac. But at the same time, if I'm not going somewhere special or I'm not going out to a party or, or somewhere where I want to really have, I don't know. I, I can wear them both anytime. Nobody's going to tell the difference. So I don't know what I'm saying right now. But guess what? Now I have more to last me longer, so whenever a uh, lipstick comes out, and if I can't get it again, I might try other options. So I haven't used the Milani yet, and I haven't used the CoverGirls yet, but I will start using them, and I'll give you an update on them. You can see I just, just, just opened them. Just took off the plastic here to get this one open too, just to show you guys. I was just using the samples in the store, but $7.00. For the CoverGirl, I think actually I got, um, they had a percentage off. I think it was like 30% off in Pharma Plus. And that's one thing that's good about the drugstore stuff. It does go on sale. Where Mac, it doesn't really go on sale. It's always going to be the same price. So if you have any questions on these colors, where I got them from, and what I think about after I wore them for a little bit, hit me up, send me a message, and um, I will respond as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. It's Casey here with Casey's Choice. I enjoy um, watching your videos, and I hope you enjoy watching mine. Thanks.